Good morning, everyone. I'm here with my wonderful parrots, Dudley and Sing Sing. And since we've received a lot of questions and requests for information about animal companions, we've decided to put together a series. Uh, we're going to kick off this series just kind of sharing some tidbits about uh, parrots. And, well, parrots like Dudley and Sing Sing form close family bonds uh, like, like we do. Uh, they fall in love, get married, uh, raise a family, uh, just as we would. Uh, so they do make excellent companions. They're uh, great as, as pets because they're very intelligent. As you can see, they're very colorful. Uh, they uh, have this incredible t ability to talk and mimic behaviors. They sing, they dance, they actually are among the few uh, animals that have a natural uh, sense for rhythm. Uh, on, the, on the topic of intelligence, uh, researchers have determined that they are as intelligent as chimps, dolphins, porpoises, and, and even three or four year old children. Um, again, they make great uh, animal companions um, because they have this flocking uh, characteristic. Uh, it's due to their flock mentality. The parrot sees uh, people in its lives with this uh, mentality or propensity to form close social uh, ties. They try to communicate with the flock, which can come out as talking and mimicking of, of us. Uh, many types of parrots live these long lives. They can live up to a hundred years in captivity. Uh, again, forming deep bonds with their people. Even though people have kept parrots as pets and companions for thousands of years, they are not actually domesticated. Uh, some of their habitats, uh, their natural habitats will be Central and South American tropical climates, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Indonesia, and, and Africa. Uh, and, and another interesting uh, tidbit is um, macaws and cockatoos. Now Sing Sing, the white bird to your left, is an umbrella cockatoo. And macaws and cockatoos, they live over 75, 80, 100, 120 years even. But uh, what they do is they f can fly 500 miles per day in search of food. Their flight capability and lifespan, interesting because you know, that in of itself is an indication of the incredible strength and, and the, uh, the outstanding ability of these animals. They do uh, nest in holes. Very few exceptions, they actually build stick nests. That's kind of also interesting. Not everybody uh, is aware of that. They build their homes in holes in trees, rock cavities, ground tunnels, or even termite mounds. What do they eat? Well, they largely eat uh, fruit, seeds, buds, nectar, and pollen in the wild. Sometimes they'll eat uh, insects, but their strong beak is hooked and this helps them crack extremely hard nuts. Um, well, that's all for today. I'll uh, be back to share with you a lot more. Uh, again, having Dudley in Sing Sing in my life, I've had Dudley uh, he, for over 18 years, although he's 30 years old. Sing Sing, I've had her since she was uh, about 10 months, uh, but she's going to be six this summer. And now Sing Sing being an umbrella cockatoo, when she gets excited, she raises her crest, uh, feathers on top of her uh, head, and uh, all these kind of extra feathers surrounding her, the sides of her face kind of come out, and it looks like she has this big cape or hood or umbrella on her. Dudley, when he gets excited and happy, uh, he has these gorgeous uh, tail feathers, and he'll fan his tail feathers, and so you see this gorgeous uh, reds and blues and, and feathers. But anyway, well, we're gonna get some uh, breakfast, and we'll uh, we'll see you sometime soon. Everyone, have a fantastic day. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye bye.